here. How about the high holy days? Do you guys remember that? Oh yeah. They were coming to services when <laughs> I first met and seeing this. Uh, on the doors, right? Danger, do not occupy, get out now! If you stay, you will face a certain fiery death! If you're still reading this, you're a suicidal idiot. Seriously, there's no chance of survival. Look out, ah! That's right, that's time to say ah. Uh. This came from our friendly fire commission, wishing us a uh, pleasant roast, a shout out, and a yummy kipper. <laughs> but through a lot of hard work, Mark and his team were able to get Jupiter Council to give us an okay to occupy sticker that went over uh, the fire commission sticker. Of course, if you read it a little more carefully, what it said was, okay, you want to occupy this incinerator death trap, really? Go ahead, why not? But it's the fire department that about this anyway. Why should we care? We're not Jewish, except for Wayne. <laughs> In any case, do what you want, don't bother us in the weekend. It's pretty close to how it happened. Very close. And, you know, Mark's fire inspector friends didn't want to leave the day go without wishing him uh, well on a special day. Okay. Um, the rabbi mentioned some, some things that you should keep in mind as you hear us talk about Mark, some key words. Uh, I'm going to continue on that theme. I'm going to give you a little language lesson. And this is on a beginner's guide to understanding Mark's lift and ease, all right, what he means when he talks at these douche meetings. Okay, how many people have been to a douche meeting with Mark? Most of you, right? All right? Okay. When Mark says, okay, let's get started, what he really means is, do you think you can stop two blocks for five minutes? Pay attention. <laughs> when Mark says, I would like to take this opportunity to give you a Hadoosh update, what he's really saying is, don't give me those blank stares, you damn well know there's a Hadoosh project, and we you need your money to pay for it. When Mark says, I would like to say something nice about all who helped me with the douche plan, what he really means is, if I did, my head would explode. <laughs> when Mark says, I am pleased to give you this important construction update, what he likely means is, last week we put another nail on the board somewhere. <laughs> and then when Mark says, as you know, these things take time. What he means is that the word we nailed up fell down. <laughs> but Mark says, as this butcher graphic clearly shows, no one pays attention to anything I say. When Mark says the welcoming center lobby furniture is designed to encourage members to hang out for a while, what he really means is the seats are so small that it will take 20 minutes at a crowbar to get your backside down. <laughs> When Mark says the finance reports have helped, helped, what he means is it helped keep my blood pressure above 280, 190. When Mark says we can't do that, what he means is I did not think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Good one, Hal. <laughs> when Mark says there are no dumb questions, but don't you ask. what he likely means is, oops, wrong again. <laughs> when Mark says Hadush has been a magical experience, what he likely means is, our money is disappearing. <laughs> 
When Mark says the budget did not anticipate some issues, what he likely means is, yeah, like a design committee on crack and steroids. <laughs> and when Mark says, I think we have time for one more question, what he really means is, providing it's not from Hal Becker's stewardship. <laughs> Speech is going to be short and nice. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Close. What can I say about Mark Slevkin? Go like this. Only good things. Mark has been my mentor. Now, Rabbi stole that from me. Mark has been my mentor for the past three years. Two as treasurer and one as president. I followed in his footsteps. This past year has really been dropped by Mark. Being the head of this construction was a lot more than he anticipated. A lot of things went on that a lesser man would have said, the heck with this, I'm walking out. Well, maybe he did that a couple of times, but he always came back. No one deserves to be honored more than Mark. Congratulations. I googled Man of the Year Award to see what great league of legends our own legendary Mark Slifkin is going to be joining. And I found out that the first few entries on Google belong to Eli Manning, Thomas Davis, and Antoine Baldwin. So what does our Mark have in common with these NFL legends? Not a lot. <laughs> And Mark's life in the last decade that I have known him has been dedicated to fixing our little part of the world here at Temple Beth Am. Mark and I became friends when he was the treasurer of the temple and I was the treasurer of the PTO. He was always so patient and kind with all of us PTO ladies, even when we clearly had no idea what we were doing or talking about. He helped us with projects like the garden, the playground, the fence, always trying to make things easier for us. Mark and Arlene's commitment to the one school is unwavering. They do not have children or grandchildren at the school, but they always come to the night out, sponsor and support. The problem with excelling is that people expect more of you. And succeeding in all these projects brought Mark to the forefront of the Chidush project. I'm sure that someone else will talk about the Chidush project. I just want to say thank you, Mark, for what you have done for this place. In her quiet and unassuming way, Arlene always finds a way to lend a helping hand to a fellow congregant in need. Mark and Arlene have been a constant and personal source of strength to me and to my family. We are truly, truly blessed by this friendship. Mark, thank you for being you. I love you, my friend. Mazel tov. I would like to introduce and call up our final speaker that on our final speaker on the agenda, uh, which is Arlene Slipkin. Say Arlene. the African cultures placed on family and community. If you build it, they will come. No, we didn't construct the baseball field. How does that fit into today? Mark and I joined Temple Beth Am in 2000 when it was a trailer. Not long after that, the construction for this temple began, which Mark was just a little involved with. A few years later, we were fortunate to have Rabbi Alon lead our congregation. Mark became treasurer. Our rabbi had heard about the volunteer financial commitment structure of dues, which brings the idea of reaching out to family and community to make our village Temple Beth Am. Rabbi and Mark worked together, and now we have our VFC. So now that we have our village, we need to provide room for all. 
I am sure creating a baseball field was easier than creating the beautiful temple we now have. It wasn't long ago that perhaps a social group couldn't have a meeting or a celebration because we were limited to a certain amount of people. And look how many people we can have in this room now. The lobby was crowded on a Friday night, and our rabbi wanted also to be closer to his congregation, not on a high beam, to be with us. Kadush, renewal. Many of you have jokingly asked me if Mark has a cot here. No. But his many hours here point out to his full dedication to his commitment to Kadush, renewal. There are so many more people to thank, and it's also an honor for their commitment to Kadush. Many thanks to Eric, his staff, the Men's Club, and for all of you who have spoken. Um, this is a very special day, and I'd like to say thank you to everybody. Thank you. All right, I would like to present the, to you these flowers on behalf of everybody from Temple Bethlehem. From the Men's Club, 2017 Man of the Year, we'd like to honor you for a wonderful job. Great job. Uh, great friends of the temple, as everyone knows. Uh, the Men's Club also is honoring you with a brick on the walk. Uh, I just want to take this opportunity to thank the temple staff for their assistance in helping make this event successful and particularly Chef Eric, who's been over there. Also, I extend my thanks to our many men's club volunteers who helped with food preparation, table room setup, serving, and whose assistance was invaluable. Thank you all for a great job and your support. Thank you all. I'd like if everyone can rise, we'd like to do a toast to Mark. We'd like to honor you, and we've been honoring you, but would like to say we're so thankful for you, everything you do for the temple. L'chaim. Thank you. Wow. That was an impressive, impressive collection of true but fake facts. <laughs> And I said, how, let's raise two and a half million dollars. Second slide, please. <laughs> That's his reaction to raising two and a half million dollars. He said, I've done this before. I've done it the same, as he mentioned earlier. I've done it to the benefactors. Well, we'll go back to the benefactors again. It was a great opportunity to work with great teams. And I can recognize recognition goes to the entire team. We have a fantastic facility to meet our future needs. First, I need to thank the love of my life for me. If I had a drink, I'd drink toasted. If I don't know how you did it, I don't know how you put it on. This is probably the most difficult project I've ever been involved in and tried to manage uh, and try to keep a building running while we're doing all this. We didn't miss a beat. Now, that, that's how the, the Jewish community of TBA is all about. And I personally thank you all very much. And I really enjoy it. Thank you.